Hi Libras, welcome to Baby Boss Tarot. Okay guys, I'm sorry it's been a long time since I've done a reading for you. I know I missed uh, your season. Uh, my apologies, I had to recuperate. I was physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually drained. I had to take time off. Um, I'm still not quite out of the woods and everything yet. I've got a house full of six kids right now. Four out of five of my boys are quite ill. So, um, Anyway, Libra. Uh, what I've been guided to do for you is advice. This is advice up the wazoo. No tarot. This is all advice apparently that you need right now. Okay, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, some of this might resonate with you. It might not. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. Please like, share and subscribe, guys. Okay. Uh, my lovely Libras. From uh, the Angel and Gemstone Guardians, what, what do you need to know? Okay. You have got Zozite with Ruby, okay? Um, so, do you joyously give but are unable to receive? It's time to receive with grace. It is safe to allow others to do nice things for you and shower you with gifts. Permit blessings and love to pour into your open, receptive heart. Okay, this is actually kind of beautiful energy, really, I think. Um, you feel like, at the moment, that... You don't feel worthy. You're feeling like you don't deserve things, but you do, Libra. That's kind of what I'm getting for you, okay? Right. <laughs> okay, I'm now doing the uh, start seeds. Let's see what you need to know. <clears throat> Some of you Libras, you are star seeds, okay? You could be Reiki healers, uh, you could be clairvoyants, you could be tarot readers yourselves. Okay, um, okay, you have patience, so be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. This is all about divine timing, whatever you've been waiting for, Libra. The universe, um, they are purposely de delaying what is rightfully owed to you. It, this is a, um, you've got a karmic debt that still needs to be paid, okay? Um, you've got signs, so the universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. Now, I know this says synchronicities, but I'm English, it's synchronicities to us, okay? I really shouldn't have cut all of my nails off because they get filthy quite quickly. My apologies, let me just quickly clean them. That's kind of gross. <laughs> okay, so my apologies for my dirty nails. I've uh, been thinking about getting fake nails, you know, just for the reason that, but that's not me, I don't do fake. 100% um, natural, so. Well, apart from the hair colour. But I went back to my natural redhead colour, so... Alright. <laughs> Libras, you could be thinking about um, changing your appearance, changing your style, your look, possibly. Your hair colour. Oh, just got to give a shout-out to my bestie, SL. Okay, thank you for the comments this morning, sweetheart. The boys are missing you. And the kiddies. So, anyway. Libra, divine dream. So, um, what I heard straight away was, pay attention to your dreams, okay? There's... A lot of info. You could have had a dream last night that possibly confused you. You're trying to think of what it is. There is hidden meanings in your dreams. And if you do divination, you'll understand uh, what those dreams mean to you. Like, for instance, for myself last night, just as I was falling into a REM sleep, um, uh, what my guides never were showing me was a young girl, brunette girl with blue eyes. Um, it was about nine or ten years old. Um, suddenly she was in this massive water tank drowning. So what I got from that was, um, I'm still working on my inner child. So um, at the moment I'm feeling like, yes, my inner child is drowning in a sea of emotions, you know, a sea of being goddess. The chakras are closing on me. And what, I, what we've got for you here, Libra, is divine dreams. So I am divinely guided. My intuition shows me the way through my dreaming world. Okay, so please pay attention to your dreams. And your intuition is on point. I've been told to say that to you. Okay, whatever it is you are feeling, if you, um, your claircognizance is coming out, the gift of no, um, you're highly in tuned at the moment. Are there a lot of people are when it comes to November. Okay, let's see what the fortune wants, wants to give you. What is the fortune for the Libra, please? Okay, so communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Okay, well, this is kind of cool because I'm really hoping that soon me and my bestie, who's Libra, we can 
you know, come back together because um, I moved in April and we haven't seen each other since I've moved. We used to live in the same area. Um, I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see the kiddies, her kiddies as well. And my kiddies can't wait to see her and everything. Um, you know, it's, it's a long awaited reunion. But bless her heart, unfortunately, I, I can't actually get to hers because I'm, I don't drive. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes, I miss you deeply, SL. Okay. Right, from the Rebel Deck. Come on, let's, let's get a bit into this. The Rebel Deck for Libra. Okay. You are going through some tough shit. <laughs> I already know this for some Libras, okay. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Okay, <clears throat> apparently I am having to say, unfortunately, this is something that you have to do on your own. Um, you may be seeking advice from friends or family or even from a professional, but they're all going to tell you the same thing. This is something that you have got to work out on your own, Libra, okay? All right, um, okay, we'll do the daily healing for you. This is only supposed to be a quick one. What's the daily healing message for my lovely Libras? Okay, you've got two. Okay, respect your inner cycles and honour them on your healing journey. Okay, and you have see yourself as you would see a friend. Be objective about it. So how do you look at your friends, Libra? That's the way you need to see yourself. I'm hearing it's time for you to shine. Okay. Landon. Right, chakra love. What do you need to know for love? What do you need to know for love? Okay. So, for your love light. So, your root chakra. Okay. Uh, snowflake obsidian. This is all about your safety. So, is the hurricane of life. Okay, in the hurricane of life, a strong foundation will keep you safe. I don't know why I stumbled on foundation. Is there something rocky at the moment going on around you? I'm seeing the tower. So, you could be uh, putting up um, security cameras in your home or trying to make your home a bit safer. You may be getting a, getting a guard dog or um, something that keeps your home safe. It's, it's a little bit on rocky ground right now. As if a hurricane's just whooshed through and now you kind of want to keep everything, you know, safe. Also, pay attention to the people that are around you as well. Okay, some people might not be as they seem. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I might have to pause your reading and go see uh, Boss Baby number four in a minute. Who is also a Libra. Well, he's a Libra Scorpio cusper. Boy. <laughs> Does he play on that cusp? All right. So, from the Angel, Angel of Lights cards. All right. So, you have choices. When you worry about decisions, it means that your mind is trying to control your life and that results in choices made from your ego. Your angel guidance is to consider and evaluate all the op options, then let go of your head and choose from your heart. That's which gives you the greatest joy and feels right. Do not act from foolish impulse, however, rather from divinely prompted inspiration. Make choices for the highest good. Remember that if something is not for your highest good, it certainly is not for the highest good of those around you. So let go of false feelings of responsibility for others and choose with wisdom. Become still and attuned to your soul. Ask your angels for guidance and help. Then from your point of deep inner stillness, make your choices easily and spontaneously. Okay. You have aspiration. It is time to set your sights higher. If you're settling them for mediocre, aim for the superb. Stretch yourself... Stretch yourself to fulfill all your potential and hold mighty visions. Find the wisdom within. Uh, find the wisdom within you, which enables to aspire to the great and glorious. Then expand your comfort zones so that you can explore your dreams. The angels guide you never, never to settle for less than you, than your. I can't do this. Wow. Apparently, I'm not supposed to read from these cards. I'm not. I'm sorry. These cards weren't meant for you. I think these were meant for Capricorn. I'm supposed to be doing um, Capricorn today as well as um, Leo and Sagittarius. Right. Yeah, hang on, boo. 
All right, so I'll do this last one. This is from the Whispering Woods. Um, so you may need to get back into um, nature a bit more. All right, let's get one card. I saw it flip. Okay, so friends. The most unlikely friendships can form like um, variegated is that lichens or lichens on hard rock. They create a tight bond. So you do need your friends around you right now, Libra. Um, but you need to pay attention to certain friends that are around you as well. Okay. Okay, they're saying because the lunar eclipse is coming up, you need something from the moon magic. And then I think that will be your reading. Okay. Two fell out straight away. I speak my truth and act upon my realizations. Waxing presence. Then I gather more wisdom each day. Okay, Libra, that is going to be your reading. I will do a tarot reading for you later on, okay? Uh, I haven't forgotten about you. It's just that you need us some advice today in particular. Okay, Libras, love and light. Please stay safe and love you lots, guys.